Alright, we wanted to take this here Fender Frontman 15 watt piece of shit combo amp. And, um, yeah, uh, it came with, um, it came with my brother's uh, Fender Squire Affinity series, uh, like 12, maybe more years ago. And, uh, I just kind of thought. Maybe we'd take our pedal boards and our guitars and see if we could try to get a halfway decent sound out of the Fender Frontman amp. Five bucks says we can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, even when I first started out on guitar, I just thought, this is not a good tone. It's not good. Uh, as you hopefully are able to hear via the recording here, um, it's currently humming, and it's unclean. Something's gone wrong. Gee, what are you doing? Mine too. I don't 
Nothing sounds too bad with a compressor. Alright, yeah, so once again, that's treble at three, middle at six and a half, and bass at four and a half. Uh, treble at three and a half. Okay, it's actually at uh, seven and a half. If you get a lot of the pick attack, you get a little bit of breakup in the. Here, take the metal pick. This is on a neck pickup, just so you know. Yeah. Um, here, plug me back in, and I'm gonna run through my cleans. That's bridge. Uh, he Freud. Okay, got it. And I'll stop. No, that's that's actually the headphone sample. There you go. Okay. So, uh, this is my compressor, which is a Tone City comp engine. I'll give it a little bit of reverb here. Sound too bad with the split and the uh, compressor on it, really. No, it just it needs the compressor when you split it, which is really something. You need the compressor, period. Because I'm <laughs> not good. Okay, um, and then here is the. Here's with a little bit of delay slash chorus. That's reverb, compressor, and delay and chorus. It's honestly not bad, so if you do this, we can get the clean to be decent, workable, yeah. something we can deal with. Um, so before we, before, before we, we use our pedals, uh, when it comes to this sort of thing, you before just... Before we use our pedals, we just use our pedals. I mean the distortion stuff. Oh, yeah. So don't use drive or overdrive or fuzz, or I mean... Don't use this, this drive. This drive is... Spare my ears, please. Yeah, so uh, I'll have him do that, and then uh, we'll show you... The only real way to get the drive sound on this amp is if we use our overdrives and use the pedals instead, because it's just not going to work. So, um... Let's just a little bit more, uh, and then we'll split the coil. Alright, that's split. And this is 
Anyways, I am a sad person. All right, so that's with the Jackson. Let's um swap over. You're in Tenno. Am I using my distortion pedal or am I using the amp? Um, and uh, swap to the bridge pickup. I am on the bridge pickup. Okay. Actually, one of the best metal amps I've ever heard. Does not jinx. No. <laughs> Zero jinx out of ten. But I'm also in drop D. What am I doing? I don't know. Black T. T. <laughs> Mark 
it's not working anymore. God, God save us. No! Just, just turn it all over. Here, why don't we, um, cut the tube screamer. Cut the tube screamer. And then I'm actually gonna put the black tea down a little, put it like, um, okay. sort of like uh, 11 o'clock. Okay. So why don't you play and I'll just...
Sound okay? I think we made it sound okay. Okay. I'll take okay. And for the price, I think. I don't know. How much was it? Free? Free, free? free if you buy a guitar. Free if you buy a Squire Affinity, which is already pretty cheap. You, you probably shouldn't buy one of those. No, they're, they're actually a really good starter guitar. Um, don't buy starter guitars. What about starters? What about starters? Alright, you know what? As far as starter guitars go, and this isn't what this video is about. Uh, I'd say Squire Affinity is a great one to, way to go. Um, basses, you know, the, um, with the Ibanez SGs, those are good. The Ibanez SGs? Yeah. Well, they're, like, not actual Ibanez, but the knockoffs. Oh, the, the sound gear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the sound gear. The sound gear basses are okay. The, the bass, yeah, for basses, that's good. Um, and if you want something sort of in between, like, nice <laughs> and really cheap, uh, these guys are great, the JS32 Rhodes, because they've got a much better neck and system with the locking nut. And... Honestly, just buy something at a pawn shop. You'll probably save yourself a bit of money. Yeah, we do it. All the time. Um, but this amp, we'd say, takes a lot of the dial in. Somewhat. Um, drop all the highs out. Because it's it's got them for days. Don't don't drop all of it. Cut most of it. I cut ninety, maybe eighty percent of it. Um. Never use the drive channel. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, even if you're a beginner, just don't use the drive channel. You want to sound cool? Go get go get a tone city or something. You buy a, probably... like a cheap Boss DS one off reverb or eBay or something. Just get a pedal. Oh, and get some reverb because that, that really helped. Um. And a compressor. So that you sound better than you are. 
Um, and uh, don't go high gain. It can't handle high gain. No, no, it can handle fuzz okay. Fuzz is good, like and it handles gain. crunch good. Light gain is good. Yeah, so crunch and fuzz, it handles well. It's a, it's a Fender amp, so that's, that's kind of yeah. Expected it, and honestly, I didn't expect the Fender amp brand to kind of show through at this level, but it did. Somewhat, yeah. So clean is decent when you get it right. Crunch and fuzz. Um, maybe it's about has replace the speaker, maybe. <laughs> Put a vintage thirty in there. They're not about to do that at this level, guy. Do it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Let's do it. Oh, okay. It's like a hundred bucks ish. We don't have a hundred dollars for a new one. For this. <laughs> Later then. All right. So um. Uh, one hundred subscribers. We'll do it. It'll never happen. You're right. <laughs> Alright, get us 100 subscribers and we'll foolishly drop 100 bucks and put a new speaker in this thing and make it cool. Or we'll do a key on it, whichever one's faster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Oh, we're doing this now. And snip. Cool! No, hang on, give me that guitar. <laughs> okay, uh, it's still plugged in. Yeah, good. Uh, put that cord into here. Uh, this cord into there. Alright, into mine. Your tuner's on. for a goddamn joke at the end. And we're great level of professionalism. Okay.